guys good to have you all back it is monday hope you all had a fantastic weekend for today's project i have a pile of envelopes on my desk i i have no clue i don't know i don't know so instead of me trying to figure it out and then turning the camera on i was thinking just you know turn the camera on and um see see what i can come up with so uh, let's see let's see no clue now these are all older envelopes uh, some of them are a little bit older than others. They're nothing, not really, really special, um, but they're pretty ones. So let's just find out. Yeah, already took something out of here. Probably an airmail, whatever. It is from 1971. Uh, beautiful airmail envelope. This is a little bit older, probably 60s. Ooh. Ooh, look at the inside. Did you see? Well, that is way too special to do anything with. This is sort of a coin envelope thingy. This is an older one. Yeah, it's still in, in guilders instead of euros. I don't know. I love these. I think I want one with a window. Now, these are a little bit newer. Not really new because these are 80s, 90s, something. Oh, that's a really nice one with the um, window all the way on the bottom. I'm going to put this to the side. Now, look at this post stamp. Yeah, that is um, um, Queen Beatrix. On her wedding day yeah it's not from that that time it's just like something to commemorate her wedding day i don't know let's just see well these are all just mailers i could do something with them oh look at this inside oh i love this um this is paper tape post, uh, so I know it's older. It's from 1995. It's uh, called differently now. This is our national sort of postal service, whatever. Yeah. Ooh, love that one. I keep thinking about the red one. I think I'm going to do the red one. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, yeah, I can fold it in. Make this into a journal cover with pockets. Oh, yes. The inside of this one. From Latvia. Cool. Oh, look. I like it. Taller ones. These are from the US. Normal ones. Yeah. Oh, another one. And then in blue. Ooh. And this is a little bit older from 89. Okay. Oh, another one. Oh, I have two blue ones. I have two blue ones. Hmm. Oh, look at these. Belarus. From Belarus. Yes, another one from Latvia. Sometimes I just like the insides of the envelope. Oh, also this one. It's another big one. Okay, guys. Um, red, blue. Red, blue. We're going to do blue. No, I'm into red. I'm going to do something with this one. Yes. Don't know what. Let's find out. Now, normally, if I use um, an envelope with a window in it, I put something in to put behind the window to have something pretty. But I think this is fantastic. I just love this, so I don't need to put anything in. I'll probably do something behind here, a label or, or what have you. So, <clears throat> if you are crafting along, if you're playing along with a normal mailer, put, just put something inside that looks pretty. That's what I am thinking. <clears throat> now, it's a very big one. I have a couple of ideas um we could fold it this way or we could fold it I, I, normally i do this but i don't want to cover this up so i'm thinking to fold it the other way around yes the other way around like so um it could fit over a journal page let's make let's make an over the page Sort of double pocket. Yeah? So, um, let's just see. Can I have a page? Where's, where's Gunther? Here's Gunther. Let's take out sort of a, big, a bigger page. Oh, let's do this. Because red. Yes. And then we're going to sort of fold it over. Yes, but we're going to cover up the red then. Oh, not on this side. Not on this side. Yeah. I'm going to have an over-the-page over the, over the page sort of pocket thingy from an envelope with red. I might not use this page because 
I'm going to cover up all the red. And I do like the red. But, you know. Oh, this one. Maybe this one. Let's just find out. First, I'm going to make uh, the pockets. Now, uh, for the supplies that I'm using, I am going to go wander through my own craft room. Uh, through my own stuff. Uh, to come up with some bits and bobs. That we can decorate this and make something lovely with. Yes, so I'll be right back um, with supplies, tools and such. And then let's start making this. So I went uh, through my craft room on a treasure hunt. Looking for red bits and bobs, odds and ends and what have you. And I found, I found loads. While I was going through my um, craft room, I was like, red ephemera, red ephemera, why do I have red ephemera? And then, and then it rang a bell. I also have a red ephemera <laughs> digital kit. I'm going to show you later, guys. Um, you probably have that one. If not, I'm going to link it below. Now, for tools, I'm going to use very basic tools. Uh, scissors, glue, maybe, uh, probably a ruler. Yes. Okay. So, no fancy smancy stuff. Uh, I have two of these pouches that I've already picked out for um, Gunter's journal. And there's some lovely red and black in here. I just want red and black on here. So I'm going to go through these. Then I have some uh, baker's twine. Red baker's twine. I found two of these um, washi tapes. These are from the Elizabeth Craft Designs Reminiscence set. Red and red and black. I'm going to be stamping in red and black. For stamps I'm using... Well... Uh, correspondence because it's going to be sort of correspondency yeah so i'm thinking this one i also took out the eccentric rub-ons because i want to rub on of the uh, one of the windows yeah so i'm going to use this i have seen eva from bohemian crafting i will link her channel below guys because eva is doing my 100 day project well it's not my 100 day project but she's doing every project that i've made in a 100 day in her own style it's amazing fantastic and i've seen her yesterday use one of these it's a very old vintage sort of uh, price stamp thing i oh, love it another vintage office stamp says paid ad also in red then i have some of these red denison type of labels I have some red poster stamps, some of these. I found um, a red uh, sugar sachet, yeah, with a stork on it. Oh, I have, have these. Aren't these lovely? I love them. Maybe one of these. Another price tag with some red lines on them. I have a gazillion of these, so why not use it? I have some of this tape. It's actually for, this is a, a ladies, a Dutch ladies size. It's a small size. Yes, I am not that small size anymore. Uh, it's vintage, so I'm going to use some of this. I found this. It's from a memory game. It has a, well, a tomato on it. Maybe, maybe. Cigar band. Now for papers. Um, I bought a box of these. Yes, these are shipping forms. And they come in a couple of order, uh, a couple of color, colors. But also in red. So I'm using this. Red ephemera. Yes. Uh, print out the kit. I'm going to use this page. And I also printed it to two page. So it is smaller. So I'm going to use some bits and bobs from this one. Is that it? That's it. Oh, this one. Yes. This is actually, if you are a truck driver or a lorry driver. Well, from years ago. This goes into your sort of device with, I don't know, lovies. It's how, how fast you drive and um how many times you take a rest or I don't, I don't know but i love it and it's red okay that's it for the tools and the supplies let's let's make something so let's start i'm gonna fold it in yes i'm going to leave a little bit of room here at the window otherwise it would start to curl have it straight that'd be lovely yes okie dokie so what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a, a sort of a notch in here. Yeah, so you can tell that it, there's a, a pocket there. I'm going to do all sorts of decorating, put some lovely stuff in the, in the envelope and also put a lovely rub on here. Now on the back, I do love this piece a lot, but I love, <laughs> I love the inside even more. So I was thinking to take out a piece. Yeah. Take out a piece, use this logo somewhere else. Yes, I'm just, I'm just gonna do that. Okay. 
Uh, how are we going to open it up like so? Yes. And then I need to cut all along here. But I cannot do that with the knife, of course. So I need my scissors for this. Um, will that work? Then we need to glue this. But that's okay. I can glue that. Because I have glue. Yeah. How far do we need to cut? A little bit further. Yeah. I'm gonna fold it over for now. Oh, I love the. Oh, I love this. Look at that. Oh, I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Just gonna do this. Yeah. Take this off. Gonna cut it a little bit um, above where I folded it. Yeah. Gonna fold this in. To make the entrance of this pocket a little bit sturdier. Probably going to put some tape on. Yes. But I want to use this logo. Maybe some of the some of the paper. Maybe we could slant this pocket. Yes. Oh yes. That'll look lovely. Yeah. Notch. Let's make a notch first. Now I'm going to take out the biggest circle punch uh, that I have. There you go. Yes. Now, I thought about inking, guys. I do want to ink it, but very, very lightly. So I'm taking out probably tea dye. Yeah, I'm going to go tea dye. Just going to do some very light inking. See, just, just around the edges. To make it look a little bit more older. I need to glue here. This bit, yeah. I know I need to glue there because I just cut it. There we go. That's enough. I might come back and do some more, more distressing. But let's just decorate it first. Okay, I need glue. I need stripper glue here. Yeah, because otherwise this is going to be loose. Taking out art. This is going to be tricky because I have to put glue on the inside here. So you probably won't be able to see it. Just a small strip. Yep. No worries. Well, this is going to be the base. Let's pretend that this is your page in your journal. Yes. I'm going to have it on like so. Now I'll probably glue it here and here. Yes. And on the other side, I'll probably glue it. Um, here and here, of course, so that you have a double pocket there. Yes. So smart of me to glue this pocket down before I put something in, because now I have less room to, to put something in, but it'll be, it'll be fine. Now, I want to use a couple of pieces of this um, paper, especially this. I love that. You know I love this. Uh, where's my ruler? Oh, somewhere. Lucky for me, I have another one. Gonna take out this bit here. Not the bottom part. Yes. Taking this bit off. Yes, I'm gonna stamp on it, of course, and put a poster stamp on and and what have you. Yeah, that's gonna go here. 
also want to use a piece of this. Can we sort of, ooh, can we sort of do this? Have it on both ends? Well, I think we can. I think we can. I'm just gonna take this bottle part off. That's also lovely. But I want to use red. Yeah, so this is gonna go over here. This is gonna go. Are you gonna put it under or over? Under. This one. What else do we have? The post-it stamps. And a lovely cigar band. And I'm going to do some stamping as well, guys. Uh, one of these. One. Yeah. With some stamping. What else did we have? I have... I um, don't know if I'm going to use this one. Maybe on this side. Mm. 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 More labels. I'll do that probably after the stamping. And I also have this. I think I want to use this on here. Same with probably a label and uh, oh, maybe this one. Yeah. But first, I think I'm going to stamp, um, glue all of this on. Are you? Do you not want to put something here first? Yeah. I'm going to stamp something here first. What? What, what, what? Um, mm, 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 letter. Or this one. But then we have two circles. Will that work? Yeah, I think so. I'm going to put this one here. I'm going to do this in black, guys. Otherwise, it would be red, 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 red. And more red. Of course, I will do some uh, red stamping. But... Now, hopefully this was the exact same spot. If not, then too bad. Yeah, and then a small little, a small little something there. No, I was thinking maybe I could have it on both sides. No. Because I have no clue what I'm going to put there. Maybe this one. Yeah. Yes, it's going to be on both sides. Just decided. Ta-da! Ta-da! Yes? We're we going to put this over it. I, I can't remember anymore. We are. We are. Glue stick will do for this. You don't need fancy smancy tools for this. No, it's just paper. I want to leave a little bit of room on the edges. There we go. Here's one. Hmm, hoping this will glue. Just in case, I'm going to add a little bit of art grid glue to this. Just a bit. Oh, 
that looks so cool. Really cool. I'm gonna have this here, right? Yes, but maybe some stamping first. This was gonna go over here. No stamping needed. Is there any glue left? <laughs> Don't know. Let's take out your cousin Bart. Okay, I need a rub-on somewhere. What are we using? Are we doing the big five? Or guaranteed strictly high grade? I don't know. Or maybe just some small stuff. It doesn't need to be that big, love. For skill and amusement only. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do this over here. Why? Because convenient. It's. It's there. <laughs> it's just there. So I'm just gonna cut it here. So I'm actually going to put on two. there and one here and maybe circle one yeah stop hoarding them love I'm going to have this half on here and half off and then this is gonna go there and this is gonna go here yeah, and maybe I'm going to put something behind here. And a large tag there. Okie dokie. Let's just see if this rub-on will work on the acetate. I think so. Did we not do this, this before? I think so. Oops. It's already gluing to my fingers. Okay, let's see. Careful, love, careful. Yes, perfect, perfect. Mm. This one was going to go there. This actually is the stamp, not a stamp that I know. I know this is a stamp, yes. But these ones are not stamps. Mr. Holtz, make them into stamps because I love these. Just make them into a stamp. Yeah. If you can. It's so cute. And then this one over here. You could probably stamp on the acetate um, with stays on or something. But it would take forever to dry. That's why I've decided to use uh, the rub-ons on the acetate surface or the see-through surfaces. Because this is my idea. I have this stamp. Why would I use a rub on on paper if I have the stamp? But yes, it's a little, it's a, a tiny bit different. I know it's a tiny bit different, but you can use a rub on only once and the stamps again and again. So if I am using my rub ons, they're going to have a purpose. And I love it. I love it. Let's do some a little bit of stamping here and then put this one on. 
what I did, guys, I sort of positioned some stamps that I want to have on here. This is from a different stamp set because it needed a signature. So, yes, I am taking out, taking out a Spellbinders uh, sign here. Kathy Holland, because it has signatures. So brilliant, right? I'm going to do this trick. Are you? Yes, I am, because I just want to do it in one go. Just bring it in one go. Don't fall off, don't fall off, don't fall off. Let's see. Worked. <laughs> it worked. Now for the signature. It's going to be down here. Careful of it is really, really wet. We don't want to smudge it. From Mr. Edwards. Yep. I need to let it dry. Already know I need to let it dry. It will it will smudge. Now I have I have this poster stamp and this one. I'm thinking to put this one here because it just looks better on the white uh, background. And then we're gonna have this one on the inside. Yeah. So we also need something here. And and I have um, I've been thinking, guys, because I really want to I want to add this, but then sort of on a corner here. So I'm gonna put in an eyelet. Are you? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. Careful of this goes that way around. I'm gonna do a black one. No, it doesn't have a purpose. What purpose does it hold? Well, the purpose is pretty. Because of pretty. Yep. On the right setting, it is not, of course. At the moment, I am so into hardware, I just want to put brads and eyelets and such everywhere. <laughs> I just like them. There we go. Yeah, pushed a little bit too hard. Um, careful, love, careful. Oh. There you go. Not even dry yet. Because the, probably, probably because of the paper. Now, I want to put this through. But then, of course, I need to put a lovely stamp on it. First, I'm going to try and ink it. Again. Put this away. Put it away. Yes. Ooh. Oh, there it is. And uh, I have this small one. Yeah. Tap it lightly, love. Tap it lightly. Just, you know, this. There you go. I'm going to do both sides the same. Yes. Ha! Huh? Love it. Love it. It's just tiny and cute. Now let's see. Is this dry enough for me to put something on? Probably not. Probably not. Post the stamp. Lovely small tag. Does it need a stamp here? We don't know. Don't know. Don't tell me that's not cute. That's just the cutest. Yeah. Does it need anything here? Yes, but I'm going to do something paper. Something paper. 
it's finally dry. I did uh, sort of fussy cut some of the smaller pieces from the ephemera red set. Um, and these are actually the smaller size, the 2-2 page. I think they are fantastic to put sort of numbers in, I was thinking. Maybe I could attach it here, have it overlap a little bit on the, on the pocket. But I need to put a stamp there. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm going to use this one. Will that work? Hmm, no, that's too bad. <laughs> I was thinking maybe, maybe that could work. But it doesn't. But that works. How about if we just put it here? No, let's put it here, over here, somewhere. Somewhere over there. Yeah? And then I'm going to have this one in here. I need tiny stamps. I'm going to look for them. Do we need something here? Just one. Just one. Oops. Yes. Fantastic. Now let's move over to the other side of this pocket thingy. And I think I do want to overlap some uh, pieces. First off, I want to put, um, there's a little bit, it's sort of cut here, see? And I do not want to rip it any further. So I was thinking to just put tape there. Without happy. I just, I don't like words like happy. I, I like happy. I just don't want to see words that say happy. I'm weird, I know. Yes. Okay. A little bit higher. A bit here. And here. And overlap here. Fantastic. Now it won't rip any further. I ripped this out. I think I want to have this here. Yeah? You think so? Yes. I'm just going to put it on. Oh, don't look at the back. I, I saved the backs, guys. <laughs> I saved everything. I really like it. Well, for a couple of reasons. First off, uh, it's sort of nostalgia. Yeah? Because they don't lo no longer have this logo, and you know, it reminds me of olden days. And I just loved, I love the sort of the print on it, and it's red, and you know, I like red. Okay, I do have a little piece left that I could use. Well, not the part that says happy, but the part that says okay, okay, and three, four, five. Three, four, five. Where? There? No. No, don't know yet. I might use it, guys. I might use it. I don't know. Okay, for the smaller bits and bobs that I have. Uh, first, I want to uh, use this. Because I've been thinking, guys. I want to fold this in. Yeah. And then glue it on. Like so. To have this stick out the tiniest bit. Yeah. And you really need to put something over there. But that's okay. That's okay. So now I, I just need to fold it. Because otherwise it won't work anymore. What do we want on here? A smaller one. Smaller ticket. 
like so, with a small stamp. Yes. So it's going to be sort of a tab. It doesn't need a tab, but it's going to be. This is tricky. <laughs> Works though. It does work. Yeah. Or we could just put this on. Oh, that works way better. Yes, yes, yes. Just lovely. Now, let's do something here. On this side, I think I want to use this sort of vintage price tag thingy. And I want to attach it here with a bread, of course. Yeah. And also a piece of this. This is um, sort of fabric thingy <laughs> with a size on it. Gonna cut it here. Yeah. And I was thinking to have it on like so. Yes, and then put the brad through and yeah. Um it's rather blank. I could stamp on it, but it's sort of a glossy paper, and I think it will take forever to dry. So I think I'm gonna add a rub-on, another rub-on. First, I'm going to glue this. Come out, Bart. Come out. You can do this. Okay. It's fiddly, yes. <laughs> Will it work? Yes, it does. It does. Yeah, I'm going to have a brad through. I need to put a piece of tape on the back then. Um, another rub-on. I had them out, so why not? Just some numbers here. Just the numbers. Over there. These probably don't need a lot of robin, do they? Maybe. No. Well, it's on there. There you go. I'm missing something red. Ooh. Well, you could do this. Yes, yes. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Pocky tool. Now, I need to be very careful not to poke through all the layers. There you go. First this one. And then this one. Yes, folding open the legs. I'm going to put a little piece of tape behind here, guys. Oh, look. And you can move it. So it needs to have something underneath. What? Like what? Like this one and then sticking out a bit. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, looks great. Looks great. 
needs one more stamp here and one more stamp here. Yep. Because there are so many straight lines here, I'm thinking I'm going to put like a sort of round stamp on it. It will break up uh, all the straight lines. There, oh yeah, perfect. It was sort of bugging me <laughs> that there were two straight lines there that I sort of, I didn't know how to fix this. And then another big number there. We look at that. It's amazing. Need something here. Not a small one. Yep. What do we want here? Do I have anything link? Oh, left. Oh, I have the, the sort of Denison label thingies. So we just put one on. Just on the top here. Oh yeah. Just gonna put one on. Now these are sort of glossy shiny. So I am not going to put a stamp on it. However, I have these left. Oh yeah, that looks awesome. That looks awesome. Now I did not put any um, of this stamp anywhere. And I really want to put some of it on. It's just going to peek out. Do we have a space left for this stamp? Are we going to do it there anyway? Even though it probably won't fit. Am I? Am I? Help me out, guys. I don't think so. I think I can, could completely ruin it. Now for the small stamps here, I've taken out moth studies because it has some of these numbers here. And also some of this sort of label thingy. I don't know. Let's have this on the top. And then one of these numbers underneath. Oh yeah, that looks great. And then... Number two. Yeah. Yes, that's it. Doesn't need anything here. Oh, shall we? Do oh, we're going to do this. Yes, I'm going to do this. just gonna stamp this here am i in frame hoping hoping i am is this upside down no oh yeah i didn't press hard enough but that's okay love it done yes done yes yes guys i think we're done of course i added some more stuff <laughs> i cannot help myself uh let me show you guys i added this stamp yeah it says uh of a stamp and then i was cleaning up my desk and i found this bit here that came uh from this space so i just added it there because it's just too lovely to throw out i did some more grunching on the on some of the white parts and on this side i added this stamp over here this here and uh i put a rub on here because it was way too blank for me yeah okay i'm going to show you how this will look in um in a journal so i've taken out gunter i'm probably going to uh put it on here so I'm going to put it over, over the page like so. Yeah, I'm going to put glue here and here, probably here just to secure it. And it's going to be sort of a large pocket that you could have something behind and of course something in here. Yeah, cool. And then when you flip it over, bam, 
this whole big pocket thing is going to be on here now um i'm probably going to glue it here and here and have two big pockets one behind here and one here uh, it's going to be a lovely tag with something visible that you can look at but it's already pretty it is already pretty yes and then there's this tab that you can sort of flip flip the page over yes why not why not um i might add some more red bits and bobs here somewhere don't know where but we'll see once we get there so guys that's it for today i hope you enjoyed it it's a, a, a sort of a different kind of video than what i normally do because i had no idea what i was doing um, I get a lot of questions from you guys about how do you come up with this? Do you ever sleep <laughs> and such? Well, this is sort of my process. I take out an envelope, look at it and think, what? What will work? And then just start folding, adding stuff and, you know, play with it. It's just paper, guys. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. You should try, always try it, always try it. And try it with, not with an, an antique or an expensive envelope. Just something you get in the mail and start folding and putting stuff on. Guys, I hope you liked it. I'll be back again tomorrow. I am linking Eva's channel below, guys, because I got a lot of questions. Who's this Eva person? Well, she's brilliant. Um, go check her out. She's also doing the 100 day uh, project. Um, and I'll be back again tomorrow with day 90. What? 90. <laughs> well, until then, bye guys.